Cool. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for clicking on this link. Let's go ahead and get started with quarter three. Um, you saw my video introduction right here. If you haven't clicked on this yet, um, just go ahead and watch it at the end of this video. It more properly introduces the quarter and they're specific by period because I sort of list you off um, name by name. Final del Camino, uh, Corazón Nino de Nombres. Right. Okay, so first thing I want you to do is open the slideshow. Let's talk about the expectations for what this quarter is going to look like, uh, what we're going to learn, how things will be graded, all that important stuff. Okay. So this slideshow document has every slide for every day of the week, Monday through Friday. Okay, so day one, Monday. I know I'm going to be in, slide down to day one, Monday. Okay, all the instructions will be on the slideshow. It'll take you very much step by step what we're doing. And there'll be other videos throughout this presentation. So I sort of walk you through some of the more complicated ideas that we're exploring this first week. Okay. Okay. So, oh, a song. Oh my gosh. One of my favorite songs, and I start class a lot with it. Um, class always starts with music playing, if my speaker isn't dead. So um, every day starts with some music there. Also, if you want to have fun, you can say, I belong here, I am loved, and I will learn at the beginning of class uh, before class formally starts. Then there's a little overview agenda. Okay, We're going to go through Monday as an example, because we're going to be using the system for presumably the next, you know, as, as long as we're at home for so let's just be 100% clear on the expectations, 100% clear about what we're doing, why we're doing it, and how we're going to do it going forward. Okay. So this is the daily affirmation. I am learning a lot about distance learning. All right, y'all, can you say that with me on three? One, two, three. Great job. Yeah, I am learning a lot about distance learning. That is fantastic. Now, you can see here it says, what is the daily affirmation? I want you literally to type these words here. Don't come up with your own daily affirmation. Literally take what's right here and put it down. The reason why is if I see all this information is different and they don't answer the questions really well, I'm gonna know, oh, this person might not be seeing the videos or might not be seeing the resources I'm laying out. And I really take this uh, step by step. So it's really uh, to make sure that you're following along, okay? Okay. Daily objective. Would someone like to read it? Sure. By the end of the day, students will be introduced to the expectations of online learning and answer reflection questions to mentally prepare for the upcoming semester. Remember, folks, this is the daily objective for Monday. You only got to do the Monday work for Monday. That's all you got to do. Okay. I mean, you can work ahead if you want to, right? Be get crazy. Okay. University of Pennsylvania. The average GPA is a 3.88. Wow. It's really high. And the average GPA is a 33. Ooh, good school. It's actually an Ivy League school. One of the best in the country. So what is the college of the week and the school's average GPA and ACT range? The school of the week or the college of the week is University of Pennsylvania, or you can just write UPenn, right? That's what the cool kids say. Uh, the average ACT is a 33. Average GPA is a 3.88. Cool. What is your question to the answer? Or what is your answer to the question of the day? There you go. So the question of the day is, what is one word you would use to describe your spring break? Um, there's a list of adjectives here you could use. You come with your own. Don't say cool, interesting, or boring. Those are low level sixth grade words. We want high high school, AP and college level words. So something cool. Um, I use the word reorienting because I've been able to use these two weeks really to look at my own personal goals and look at how I can make my um, things I can do for my advisory, not just for this year, but for sophomore, junior and senior year going down the line. Okay. All right. So you'll see in Monday, uh, there's these four questions. Each slide here has an answer for you. So what are four reasons why we are doing this learning? Why are we hear doing this learning, please list all four answers. Just this. I don't want to go over these for expectations really quickly. Okay, number one, to learn more about ourselves and individuals and how we want to grow. Who are you? What are your strengths? How do you want to change the world? We're learning more about that this quarter. Number two, 
learn more about the global society into which we have been born. We talked about San Ana, we talked about Anno Farm. Now we're going to talk about the whole world, Africa, Asia, Europe, South America, and so on, all these different continents and uh, the history behind them and how they result in who we are now. Okay, three, to determine the relationship between our individuality and society. You are a unique person. You're born into a unique society. How do those things clash together? Do you follow everything society tells you to do? Do you push back against society like an artist or a philosopher? Like, what is it that you do? Okay. How, how do those two things complement each other? How do they interact together? And then number four is to gain knowledge and wisdom that will help us in AP World, History, the ACT, and University level of coursework. So you're learning about yourself, society, how those things interact, and this will also teach you valuable academic and uh, mental skills that you can use to help you in the future and whatever it is you want to pursue. And of course, you can go back here and uh, type those four things in. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, so talking about the grading process, you have this document that has all your week's work. This is the system we're going to use going forward. Um, and it's going to be put into the grade book on Saturday. There's five days. Each day is worth um, a point on the four point scale. So I know there's five days, but it comes out to four points um, for two, two assignments worth of four points. And so I'm not going to put stuff into the grade book on Monday or Tuesday. However, when I read your work on Saturday and I see that some people haven't done the work, you're going to get a zero in the grade book or an NEOL, right? Um, accordingly. So if your work for Monday isn't due at the end of Monday, I'm going to send you an email early Tuesday morning. That doesn't mean you're getting a bad score on the assignment. It's literally just me saying, hey, look, you're really going to want to finish this as soon as possible because keep in mind, everything's due on Saturday. And I don't want you all to fall behind. I think that could be kind of easy with all the work that we're doing. So I really just want to be really firm about the facts that um, I will be there checking up on you in my free time here. Uh, so expect those emails, expect your advisors to be emailed as well. Okay. Answer number two. When will assignments be placed in the grade book? Saturday. Okay. Core number four, what is the title of this course? Uh, the title is Social Geography, Imperialism, Cultural Identity, and the Modern Individual. Uh, this is the framework which we'll be using to study the texts we're reading this quarter. And then finally, what is the connection between COVID-19 and the topic that we're studying? Well, so you'll learn a lot more about imperialism over the next nine to 10 weeks and all your time at Legacy. But the general connection is that COVID is a global phenomenon. It's impacted society, economics, culture, uh, politics, really sports. I mean, really everything, right? Imperialism has done the same thing. Just as COVID has changed the world and shut down certain societies, so too has imperialism changed the face of the world. It has changed cultures. It has changed society. It has changed who you are now. If it were not for imperialism, there's a very good chance that the majority of us would be in different places in this world. All right. Okay, so you go through this work and you still have steps four and five. Let me just briefly demonstrate what I want you to do for this. Please complete the following sentence stems. I give you 10 minutes to do it, which is sort of a generous amount of time. But I want you to really think about these. You know, if you take one minute to think about the question and one minute to type, you know, that, that's fair enough. I think that's enough time. This semester, I'm excited about, for me, the opportunity to learn with you all about uh, imperialism. I've always wanted to teach about imperialism, but I've never really had the chance in English classes so much or Spanish classes. So um, I'm excited to do that now. I am nervous that teaching online won't really give us the opportunity to speak face to face. And I think lots of the learning that we do is from peers. So I'm going to try to find ways to get your voices into the classroom. That's going to be through surveys, um, anonymous posting and stuff like this. Okay. Something I miss about being at school is uh, just seeing you all every day. You know, I think it's just really fun seeing uh, everyone come into class and the different moods are like, oh, someone's feeling good, someone's feeling bad. Like, that's really great for me as a teacher because I can see how you're doing and, you know, what you might need that day. And that's sort of hard to do from distance, so I'll, I'll definitely miss um, being with you all above anything else. Uh, an advantage to working from home is 
well, there's a lot, you know, it takes me like 30 minutes to drive to Santa uh, to a legacy. So I no longer have to drive that hour each day, which is cool for me. Um, advantage working from here with my brother, my parents and my dogs, and I love them all very much. So it's an advantage just, you know, being around them all day. A goal of mine for this nine weeks is to, well, I have a lot, right? Um, I've already read three books in these two weeks we've had off. I'm going to read another. I'm reading uh, two more right now. And my goal is to read two books a week. Um, I'm also going through the book of Proverbs. I'm going to try to finish those off in the next 20 days. Um, further goal for mine is to stay really connected to my advisory and to all my students and to, you know, help them out with what they're doing and to keep them connected to their goals. You know, like summer programs are still going to be there, folks. Like there's still going to be cool stuff to look out for and apply for. So uh, that's really my goal is to, is to give you guys a great education. All right. That's what you guys deserve. You all deserve. Okay, step four, uh, please complete the following reflection. You see, I give you eight minutes and there's only two questions. So that's two minutes of thinking, two minutes of writing. I get a little bit more in depth with this. All right. Okay, so far, my favorite thing about high school has been, wow, uh, you guys have had a heck, you, you all, excuse my language, you all have had a heck of a ride, right? I mean, we started off in uh, the ex a literal expo center. <laughs> and then we went from, an oh my gosh, we went from an expo center to uh, Salvation Army. And we went from Salvation Army to the new school, and then we got shut down because of uh, coronavirus. You all might have had the most interesting freshman year of any kid in Santa Ana. I'm not kidding. Like, literally, for the whole school to go through all that, that's crazy. Um, so that's actually, I mean, it's kind of funny, but that's one of my favorite things. Like, I love moving. I love traveling. I love change. Like, I'm all about those things. And so I've actually kind of enjoyed moving around a lot. You know, different locations, setting up the room, adjusting to new spaces, uh, putting, you know, it's, it's just fun. So I, I think the movement's been really fun. Uh, so far, my least favorite thing about high school has been, mm, I think the amount of work that goes into all those moves and all those changes, you know, I mean, it's not easy taking down an entire classroom or an entire picture of advisory walls and moving it somewhere else. So even though it's really exciting, it's also sort of, you know, a little bit daunting. I'm also going to change my answer to so far my favorite thing about high school has been, and it's actually you all, right? Um, you all are the reason I teach. You all are the reason I'm inspired to do all these really great things. And you're also the reason I want to stay at Legacy because I know um, I'll be seeing you guys and you all until you graduate. Um, and, and so you all are really the reason that we're here, the reason we're trying to do a lot for you. Okay. So uh, that's Monday. I pretty much spelled it out for you just to set the expectation just over 100% on the same uh, same page. I'm going to do another video for the other days. Uh, some of them are pretty self-directed, so you won't need me so much. So if you don't really feel you need to watch the video, that's fine. Go do your thing. Go for it. But if you'd like to hear me read the question of the day um, or the daily objective or whatever it is, uh, feel free to watch the videos that I post for day two, three, four, and five. Okay. Love you all. You have my phone number. If you don't, it's 714-907-5017. Uh, you know my email account for sure. So uh, send me a text, send me an email um, with any way that I can help you. And I'll be doing that as soon as possible. Okay. Love you all and bye.